I made a video a about a month ago probably that I never got around to posting about frogs and their perception. Did you know that frogs can only see things that are important to their survival? They literally cannot see things. This is exactly why the things that happen to us, the trauma we experience, the bad things that we go through are so important for us. They help us to relate to and empathize with other people. This is why it contributes to our own personal growth and makes us better. So frogs are a good example of how nothing that happens to us is ever actually bad. It might feel bad, but it actually supports our own personal growth and our ability to be good, loving friends and spouses, siblings. This is also why the most accurate psychics and tarot readers, things like that, are the ones who have had the most traumatic lives because they have a broad understanding of what a specific energy could mean. They can touch to the heart of it and tap into what that actual feeling is, as well as the very specific little nuances. We only can perceive that which we have experienced or witnessed. We don't have a way to view beyond what we kind of need for our own survival. And this is how these quote unquote pseudosciences work. As time goes on, the psychological community, the medical and science community are starting to prove many metaphysical theories. Many of these things are starting to be more and more supported because our perception is widening. Because unlike the frog, we have the ability to understand things in a conceptual way without solely being able to just see that which is necessary for our survival. And if we as humans are not unlike the frog, and we have this ability to conceptualize things, to understand things that we can't physically see in reality, then we could also make the point that the metaphysical world, God, spirit guides, universal loving energy is actually necessary for our survival. Either way, the frog teaches us something really important and it sort of validates our spiritual path.